Hello everyone, welcome to another time-lapse drawing of a comic. This is going to be more of an ASMR commentary, where you watch what I'm doing and I soothe you with quiet speaking, overpronounced words, and lots of obvious lip smacking. Just kidding, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas, or Hanukkah Kwanzaa, or whatever you might celebrate. Okay, so I'm just gonna write a script, and if it doesn't fill the whole video, I'll play some music at the end or something. I mean, I can just never make them long enough to last the whole video. It's really weird. Whenever I record what I'm drawing to make a time lapse, I always feel the need to draw more quickly than I normally do, but then I remember that it's made fast when I edit it, and I usually slow down then. Oh, and if there are any weird pauses during the drawing, it's because I stopped to change the song I'm listening to or something like that. Anyways, I guess I should talk about the comic some. I think this is one of those comics that was more fun to draw than it was actually funny. I actually just started out with the idea of, okay, so when you stand under the mistletoe, you get kissed. But what would happen if you stood over the mistletoe? And that was basically the only idea I had going into making it. As I kept drawing the comic, something kept telling me, you there, boy, draw a manga. And I said, no, I'm not a weeb, I swear. Don't make me do it. But the voice had a good point. It said, just make it, ironically. And I thought, yeah, that could be funny. And so the comic developed into what it is. And any weebs out there are probably thinking, okay, so what's wrong with making it a manga? And to this I say, bugger off and watch some American cartoons like Tom and Jerry or something like that. Tom and Jerry is way better than anime. If you're a weeb, leave a like, thanks. Just to clarify, I don't think there's anything wrong with watching anime. I've watched my share of anime in the past, but there's a difference between watching anime and being a weeb that says things like Desu, kawaii, opai, and kya, just because you think it makes you sound Japanese. Anyways, back to the comic. It was just a ton of fun figuring out the body positions and whatnot because I don't exactly draw roundhouse kicks very often, and the expressions were fun too. Like, you'll notice that you can't even see the attacker's eyes in half the panels, but you can still see the emotions being portrayed, sort of. And the shading is what makes the expressions so... expression-y. I mean, it wasn't supposed to be a super clever comic. The punchline was pretty much, ha, look at the silly-looking attempt at drawing generic manga. The mistletoe was just a setup and excuse to make it a holiday comic, not really any of the funny part. Those that didn't think it was funny were just over-interpreting it. It's not like you're supposed to be able to distinguish the characters or or have an interpretable sequence of events. No, that's silly. I didn't color it for two reasons. The first one is just what I like to tell myself as a reasonable excuse, and that is that mangas are typically not colored. The second reason, and probably the truest, is that it was about four in the morning and I wanted to go to bed. So yeah, believe whatever you want. And that's about all I have to say. Hope everyone has a good new year and uh, stays safe and all that good stuff. <sighs> anyway, thanks, bye.
私のことに